A major development plan for downtown has been announced by the Jaguars. They're not calling for a new stadium, but for upgrades and a new practice facility. Looking live downtown, Jaguars owner Shad Khan also wants another go at the shipyards and a Four Seasons luxury hotel. Jim Pickett is live at TIA Bank Field. And Jim, the question is, how will this be different than the past efforts like most recently Lot J? Well, you know, the Jags said that they learned a lot from that Lot J episode, that they have to bring everything out early. They have to be up front with everything on it. That was a big concern. So today they told us about these new projects that they have in mind, and this is a start for them. And they say that this is where they need to go and that this is going to help the city in the long run. In the past, we've seen these types of drawings promising a future for the shipyards and the stadium. And again today, Shad Khan and the Jaguars spelled it out and why he says the city needs this new Four Seasons Hotel and a new training facility for the team next to the stadium. When you add the promising future of the Jaguars to all that's happening, it certainly makes me happy and makes me really proud. But uh, one thing about momentum, though, is you can't bank it and you can lose it, and we don't want to do either. We have the momentum, and we're going to build upon it. Here's the proposal so far. No longer is Metro Park part of the equation. The Four Seasons Hotel has shifted down to an area no longer under federal control. Next to it, a new office building that would house the Jaguar staff and other businesses. Shifting focus now across the street at the stadium's north end, a new training facility called the Football Performance Center. It would be practice fields, lockers, and offices that the Jags say would be up to NFL standards, where the team could practice when the stadium upgrades take place place. The cost for this first phase for the shipyards, $321 million. It's not known how much would come from the city and how much the Jags would pay. For the new football performance center, $120 million, split 50-50 with the city and Jags. And the first phase would create 7,500 construction jobs and 1,500 permanent jobs. All of this would need city council approval and city dollars. And given what happened with Lot J, that may not be easy. How is this going to be any different? How are you going to get the support of city council? There's a major city investment with this. What's going to be different? Well, I appreciate the question, Jim. Uh, I also appreciate the fact that uh, we had 12 of 19 city council members support Lot J. Unfortunately, we needed 13 of 19, but we got 12, certainly more than a majority. Um, one of the things that I think we really learned during that process, and I'll, I'll take full ownership of it, is is I think we could have done a much better job in us actively getting involved in the narrative. And you know, with the, uh, the stadium lease coming up soon, there was talk that the Jags would need a new stadium. That was put to rest today. So coming up all new at 6 o'clock, we're going to talk a little bit about the renovations. We're going to hear from Mayor Curry. But coming up at 530, we're going to walk you through more of these renderings of what could take place here at the stadium. For now, we're live at the stadium. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Jim. And news for Jack's insiders are weighing in on the downtown plans. USMC says taxpayers should not be on the hook for any of the cost. Jags Con have very deep pockets and should bear the cost and any financial risk associated with the project. And Brad says if this project and the $1.3 billion development of the old landing and courthouse sites were to come to fruition, along with all the current development occurring downtown, Jacksonville would finally become the bold city of the South. But you can comment, too, by signing up and signing in. Go to news4jax.com insider, create a free login, and then comment at the bottom of this story on our homepage.